Hi everybody, today we are going to be using equations to solve word problems. So in the warm-up, this was just a review of important words to know. Um, sum. sum is the answer to an addition problem. So whenever you see the word sum, that tells you that you should add. Product is the answer of a multiplication product problem. So whenever you see that word, that tells you you should be multiplying. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. So if you see quotient, you should divide. And difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So it tells you to subtract. All right, let's start with this. Um, as I read through the word problem, I am going to underline pieces of information I think will be relevant. So a piece of rope is 28 meters long, and it's cut into two pieces so that one piece is three feet longer than the other. And this is the most important part. We always need to remember to answer a question. How long are the pieces? So um, for t problems like this, I think it's really helpful to draw a picture. So here's my piece of rope. Okay. And I'm going to fill in the information I know. So I know that piece of rope is 28 meters long. So I'm going to label it. And I know that it's cut into two pieces. So I'm just going to say let's cut it in half right here. And I also know that one piece is three feet longer than the other. So since I don't know the length of either piece, I'm just going to pick a side and I'm going to call it x. I'm going to say that's x meters long. Whenever you don't know something, you put a variable there. And since my word problem tells me the other side is three feet longer, since it's longer, that tells me I should add 3. So I have x plus 3. Now I need to take the pieces of information I know and set up an equation. So since I know that my total length is 28 meters, I know that if I add up my two parts, x plus 3 and x, it should equal the total length. Part 1 plus part 2 equals the total length. Now all I need to do is combine like terms. So I get 2x plus 3 equals 28 and finish solving. So I subtracted 3 from both sides and then I'm going to divide by 2 Okay, so now you need to go back and ask yourself, well, what did they ask me? Okay, they asked me how long are the pieces. So I need to take what I, I found out that x equals 12.5, and I need to apply that to my original problem. So since one piece is equal to x, I know that one piece is 12.5 meters. And since the other piece is x plus 3, I do 12.5 plus 3 and I get 15.5 meters. Okay? And you can double check your answer. If you add up those two numbers, it equals 28. All right, here's another problem. Um, we know that 5, they tell us that 5 plus twice a number and twice means times 2 is 7 times the number. What is the number? So the first thing I want to do is I want to define my variable. Since it says what is the number, well, I know that that's what I'm trying to solve, so I'm going to say that x equals the number. Now we're just going to translate from left to right as I read. So 5 plus twice a number. So since the number is x, I say 2x is. This is a really important word to know. Whenever you see is, that should tell you to write an equal sign. So 5 plus twice a number is 7 times the number. So 7 times x. 
what is the number. So now all I need to do is solve for x. I am going to subtract 2x from both sides and divide by 5, and I get x equals 1. And you could double check your answer. 5 plus 2 times 1 is 7. 7 times 1 is 7, so that works out. All right, this one is a little bit trickier because you need to know how to take the percent of something. So just a quick review. To find the percent of something, you multiply by the decimal version. Okay? So let's read the problem. An appliance store drops the price, and I think that since it says drops, that's going to tell me to subtract. It drops the price of bowling balls 24% to a sale price of $143.20. What was the original price? So let's define our variable first. Since it's asking what was the original price, I'm going to say that x equals the original price. That's what we're trying to find. So now, reading the equation again, an appliance store drops the price. That means that I start at the original price and I take away money. So I'm going to start at an x and I'm going to take away a certain amount. And the amount that I take away is 24%. The way I represent 24% is I do 0.24 that's the decimal version of 24%, and it's 24% of the original price. So I'm starting at my original price, and then I'm taking away 24% of my original price. And after I do that, the price is 134.20. Okay? So from here, I can solve for x. Um, so remember, I'd like to clear my fractions in this problem, so I'm going to multiply everything by 100. So I get 100x minus 24x equals 13420. All that did was move my decimal point over two spaces. Okay, and now I combine like terms, and I get 76x equals 13420. And then when I divide, I get $176.58. And since it asks what was the original price, make sure you include your units, which is dollars. And here I rounded to the nearest hundredth because that's how we represent money. All right, the last problem. This is a triangle problem. Um, the important thing to know with this problem, here's the hint I'll give you, that the measure of the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees if you add them all up. So let's read our question. The second angle of a triangle is four times the first, and the third is five degrees more than twice the, the first. Find the measures of the angles. So I'm going to draw a nice big triangle, okay? And I'm just going to label them one, two, three, so I know which one is first, second, and third. Um, I am going to say that x equals my first angle. Okay, so I'm going to call this x. Now let's go through. It says the second angle of my triangle, right here, is 4 times the first. That means it's, it is 4 times x. And the third is the third angle is 5 degrees more, so I know I'm going to add 5, 
than twice the first. So twice the first is 2x, then I need 5 degrees more. Okay, so now I have representations for each um, angle, but I need to turn it into an equation. So since I know that all of my angles add up to 180, I can say that x plus 4x plus 2x plus 5 equals 180. Okay, then I'm going to combine like terms, and I get 7x plus 5 equals 180, 7x equals 175, and I get x equals 25. Now remember, it's important to go back to the question. It says find the measures of the angles, so I need all three angles. Well, I know that one angle is just x, so that first angle is 25 degrees. My second angle is 4x. Oops. So I know that that angle is 100 degrees, 4 times 25. And my third angle is 2x plus 5. So 2 times 25 is 50, plus 5 is 55 degrees. And that is my final answer.